What's up, y'all? Welcome back. Well, today we are going to be, or I am going to be, taste testing a lot of new snacks that have been coming out, have been released fairly recently, if not maybe three weeks, a month ago, roughly. But uh, yeah, if you can look right here, all the stuff that we've got. We've got uh, three different Lay's potato chips. They are called the Flavor Drops, the Global Edition. So over here, we've got a kettle cooked habanero flavor. We've got a regular chip masala from India. And then we've got the honey butter from Korea. Now, I gotta be honest, that right there, that is the reason why I'm doing this taste test because I used to live in Korea, so yeah. Uh, then we also have a, it says Thai Red Curry Dorito. I guess it was a mystery flavor before and there was maybe a contest and you had to guess what it was. Uh, we also have some, uh, let's see, we've got some candy here. We got the Ghost Toast Kit Kat. We have the Pumpkin Pie M&M. Now we're getting into the fall season, so we're getting into those kind of flavors. And we also have a Pecan Snickers, Pecan, Pecan. Uh, whatever you call it. Um, I actually haven't been keeping up to date on the snacks So that was brand new to me actually the pumpkin pie and the Snickers were brand new to me And we're also going to do taste the the current viral TikTok YouTube people um, they, they're, they're jonesing for this spooky nerds gummy cluster now gummy clusters. They're not anything new but apparently this flavor is something for the uh, for the Halloween season. And we also have two exclusive drinks. We have a Circle K exclusive Celsius, the sparkling watermelon watermelon lemonade, and we also have another Circle K exclusive. This is the Mountain Dew Purple Thunder. I don't know where to start. <laughs> you know what? Let's start with the chips. Let's start with the chips just to get things rolling. All right. All right we're gonna start off with the Lay's kettle cooked habanero flavor. Out of all the flavors that I saw there, there's also supposed to be a tzatziki one from Greek or Greece Greek <laughs> from Greece and I didn't see that at the store but over at Target they had three bags for six dollars I mean come on yeah and also I'm starting off with this kettle cook because kettle is not that good on my teeth <laughs> it just hurts my teeth you know for the sake of this review let's uh, take a taste and okay I'm gonna kind of rate this uh, scale of one to five five being the best by smell by appearance and by taste. Here we go with the kettle habanero. For smell wise, uh, I can't really, if it smells like anything, it just smells like a potato chip. And uh, one thing is, I don't really eat a lot of chips at all. In fact, every time I buy a bag of chips like this, uh, it sits, after I eat it once, like I, it sits in my cupboard for the rest of the year. <laughs> okay, so appearance wise, it's not too bad. You got some nice dark red going in there. So the habanero, habanero is a, a pepper in it. So you've got that kind of flakes going on there, but overall it looks okay. It looks decent enough, but smell, I can't smell anything. So smell wise, uh, out of uh, five, <laughs> gets a one uh, like okay appearance wise though that I like the color the color I mean it looks like a chip so and even you even got some of these like right here where it's a little burnt all right let's take a taste okay that's interesting that's ooh, that's really interesting the habanero it sure it doesn't smell like anything uh, it gets a one but the taste wow very very interesting once you have chopped chomped down on th on the chip like that habanero spice is just coating your tongue it's getting a little hotter and hotter so that's i mean that's what peppers do that's unique just for the fact that it doesn't smell like nothing but i mean it looks good and that 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 flavor though wow for the flavor i'm gonna give that a four four out of five it's not too bad. I was, I'm actually surprised. I didn't think I was going to like this one. All right, the next one that we're going with is the masala, Taste of India. Uh, masala is the type of spices that they use on their on their meats, right? Their proteins. So far away. Let's open it up. It's a regular chip. I'll be able to munch on this a little bit easily. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. There is a distinct Indian-esque uh, smell to it, you know, with the like the cumin, the turmeric, the the black pepper. Yeah, it it smells like that. So let's pour some out. Ooh, look at the size of these things. All right, yeah. Okay, so for smell, 
I'm gonna give that a two out of five. It, I mean, it, it, it smells like masala, but uh, I mean, it, it smells like there are seasonings in there. Let's just say that. I don't, I don't really know exactly what masala tastes like. I can't just go to any spice market and just taste and go, that's masala. No, I, I can't do that. But okay, looking at the color and the shape of the, the chip, I mean, it looks nice. I, this is something that I would definitely just pick up and say, yeah, that looks good. I'm gonna try it. Appearance-wise, it's hold the chip is holding the seasoning quite well. So I would say that would be a three out of five. All right, let's take a taste. Another flavor that is interesting. It's got you can definitely taste like the the cumin and a little bit of that like it, it, it tastes like burnt turmeric if that makes any sense. I don't know if you can burn turmeric, but yeah, it's got that kind of flavor of definite Indian themed spices on there. I, I mean, it's hard to describe really. If you ever had like, oh, what kind of chicken is that called? It's not adobo because that's uh, Spanish. They've got some kind of chicken dish that has this, it's just slathered in this kind of seasoning. And that's what it, it reminds me of. Uh, if I can remember the name, I'll post it down here at the bottom. But yeah, interesting. As surprising as the, what was it, habanero? It, it, has, a, it has a distinct flavor. So I would give that a 2.5 out of five, really. Okay, so the next one we're going to do, I'm going to do, is the odd odd man out, the Doritos Flaming Hot Red Curry Thai flavor. So this is the only one that's by Doritos. Oh, Thai Red Curry. And flavored with other natural flavors. This is this is something that was not even on my radar. The the Lay's were on my radar. I read read an article and I was like, yeah, because I saw the I saw the honey butter, the masala, and the tzatziki. They didn't say anything about the habanero, but it was there at Target. This one I bought at Walmart. So now let's let's go for the smell. Whoa! Yeah, okay, this has a very Thai influenced, Thai themed smell. It very much like a Thai curry. You know, the, the curries that they have in Thailand, it's like green curry, red curry, and yellow curry. It basically smells like all those wrapped in one. Looking at how red these Doritos are, that's scary. Uh, I know it's a flaming hot one, which I'm never, I've never really gone for the flaming hots myself. Appearance wise, it looks like a Dorito. It just looks very, very red. So anyway, smell, I'm gonna give that, mm, I'm gonna give that a 3.5 out of 5. I mean, it's it's got that curry-esque smell. I don't know if it's red curry exactly, but it, that's what it says. That's what it, they're labeling it as. But yeah, 3.5. Uh, Appearance-wise, <laughs> scary. <laughs> scary, that's all I can say. Let's give it, for what it's supposed to represent, let's give it a 4 out of 5. Now let's go for taste. Okay, that's interesting. It's not flaming and it's not hot. It's got that curry taste to it. And it's sticking on the tongue a lot longer than the other other two that we've done so far, that I've reviewed so far. I can't say I'm a big fan of it, but it's not bad, it's passable. You can eat this while watching a game and having a beer, I guess. <laughs> Taste-wise, I'll give it a three out of five. Now, the last one from Lay's for the Flavor Drops Global Edition. It's the honey butter flavor inspired by Korean potato chips, really. Uh, I remember back when I used to live in Korea for what, six plus years or something like that? Six, five, six, no, six years. The honey butter chip was just introduced. So this is probably like, I wanna say 2012, 2013. It was so popular with the Koreans. It, it would always sell out at all the places like H Mart and all that and E Mart too. But yeah, it was such a popular flavor. It was hard to keep in stock. So I'm really curious. That's why I chose this one as the last one because I'm really curious to see if it tastes anything at all like those honey butter chips from Korea. All right. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. That is the smell of the honey butter chips. All right. I'm actually kind of uh, excited about this. Look at this. And it says the price is $4.99 and I got three bags for six bucks. Uh, as far as the, the smell, yeah, it's got that honey butter smell. It's very light as far as the smell goes because you're, you're not really getting the smell of the honey prominent or the butter, you know, face forward. It's just, uh, yeah, it smells very light. And looking at it from a chip wise, this is something that you would probably get at the pubs in England. But yeah, very much, very edible. Now, as far as the appearance, nothing too exciting to write home about. It's a, it's a chip, right? I can't fault it for that. That's a good four out of five. Now, Let's go for the taste, right? This is the big part. 
Okay, taste-wise, it's there. It is the honey, it is the butter. It's not as strong as the ones from Korea, the honey butter chips. Now, if I can find a picture of what those look like, you can find them at your local H Mart. If you have an H Mart around, that's the flavor right there. This one's mimicking it, and it's doing an okay job about it. It's not fantastic. It's not gonna say, I'm gonna eat the entire bag in one sitting. No, it's, it's mimicking the flavor that it's supposed to. So as far as flavor, also a three out of five. Yeah. With that all being said, I'm glad I got to taste test them and all that good stuff because just the idea of the honey butter being introduced to America, I, I, I wanted to bring a feeling, uh, a taste back from when I lived in Korea. Let's actually do the drinks because I'm really curious about this. So apparently Celsius, energy drink that I see everybody at the gym drinking nowadays, it's smaller in size as far as like the, the monsters and the primes and what have you. This is portable. What I found out from the person working at Circle K, apparently Celsius has a deal with Circle K that they will debut a flavor at Circle K and it'll be an exclusive for two months and then it'll be distributed wherever Celsius is sold. So this is the new one. It's the uh, sparkling watermelon lemonade. Let's open it up, see what kind of smell we get. It smells very lemonadey. Watermelon, not so much. All right, let's go for the pour. Not what I was thinking at all. I guess you can't really mimic uh, watermelon except for maybe making it pink, uh, pink dye or something, red dye number five. Looks okay, the bubbles are there and what, what not. Let's smell it. Yeah, you can smell it more here this way. Now I can smell the watermelon mixed with the lemonade. I think this might be good. It has essential energy, accelerates the metabolism, burns body fat. So after all those chips I just ate, it's gonna help burn that chip stuff. <laughs> all right, let's just take a taste. All right, here we go. Ooh. I like that. I like that. Wow. Okay. That watermelon sneaks in at the end. Okay. It's really, it tastes like a lemonade, like right, right from the get, right? And it is a carbonated drink. You're going to get the bubbles with the lemonade. And then all of a sudden the watermelon goes, boom. Hi, I'm here. I just wanted to join the party. Bam. That is fantastic. Appearance wise. I mean, I, how am I going to rate that? It's, it's a, it's an energy drink. <laughs> uh, if you really need a score out of five, uh, let's say four out of five. <laughs> it looks like a carbonated drink and it is a carbonated drink. As far as the smell, uh, did I already do smell? If I did, I, I want to say 2.5 from the can, but 4.2 when it's in a cup. So yeah, I, I, I like the smell and then the taste. Wow, out of five, I'm going to be a little critical here, but 4.7, okay? 4.7 because it's not, it's not overly, you know, I, I'm going to drink this every single day type of drink, but it's a nice refreshing drink that I can take when I go to the gym. That's, that's what I think of the Celsius Live Fit Sparkling Watermelon Lemonade. Next one we have here, another exclusive from Circle K. Apparently Mountain Dew does exclusives with different convenience stores, 7-Eleven, Circle K. I don't know if they do it with QT because I don't think QT's all around the place. Uh, AM PM is also not down here, but it's more in the West Coast. Anyway, we've got this purple thunder it says with a blast of berry plum natural and artificial flavors look how many calories is in one bottle this is why i don't drink soda but i'm also curious about what other flavors they do nowadays let's open it okay just from the bottle itself it smells more grape to me than berry plum so i don't know where they're going with that but let's pour it into a cup and see if there's a difference. So that's what it looks like out of the bottle. Um, I think the purple labeling makes it look more of a purple color than it is when you pour it into the bottle. There's that, let's take a smell from the glass. Okay, now it smells more like plum, that's strange. In the, in the bottle, it smells more like grape. Here, it smells more like plum. And look, it's purple just like what I'm wearing. Yay. As far as the smell out of the bottle, two. Uh, out of this, out of the glass, Mm, three. Appearance wise, it's, I, I don't know if I should rate that. <laughs> three, yay, okay. Let's take a taste. Has that distinct Mountain Dew taste. You know, with a regular Mountain Dew, you've got kind of lemon lime type of taste to it. They just added a little bit of berry plum to it. Uh, it's it's refreshing. It's it's also very sugary. And that's one thing why I avoid sodas nowadays is all that sugar. 270 calories in that one bottle. So. As far as taste 
goes. I'm gonna give it a 2.7. It, it's it tastes like a Mountain Dew with a splash of plum. Uh, if anything, stick with the Celsius, which only has what 10 calories. Does it have a lot of sodium though? No, no sodium. Oh, okay. That's good for the blood pressure, isn't it? All right. Okay. Now on to the candy. I'm gonna start off with this Ghost Toast. I'm gonna go in the order that I bought them within this past week. So we've got this Ghost Toast Kit Kat, and you know I'm a sucker for Kit Kat flavors, all the various kinds from Japan and all that. This has a crisp wafers and cinnamon toast flavored cream. And nice the little uh, mascot ghost there giving you a wink. Dead ghost winking at you. That's something. All right, let's open it up. Ooh. Okay, from the smell. Man, that does have a unique orange smell to it. That's that's unusual. I, I like that. I like it. It evokes kind of like the autumn flavors. Well, orange slash vanilla is what I'm getting there. The color makes it more look like the fall season, right? But let's take a taste. The chocolate around there, very subtle, almost completely vanilla, but I can taste that cinnamon. It really feels like the cinnamon's inside the wafer there. The chocolate that they're using is so just, it's refreshing. Well, now it's getting on my finger. It has a vanilla with the orange, kind of like an orange creamsicle kind of taste. And that's, I, I haven't had that in a Kit Kat before. With all the different kind of Kit Kats that I've had in my life, that's something new to me. So I will say that this Kit Kat appearance, okay, smell, let's do smell first. Smell. I'm gonna say 3.5. Appearance, looks like a Kit Kat, so what, <laughs> 4.5 out of five. And taste, that is unique. I'm gonna have to say, that's a that's a 4.7 as well. Nice, nice flavor there. All right, all right, all right, all right. Next one that I actually saw in Walmart was this pumpkin pie. Now you can get them at Target too, they got big bags, but remember that last time that I did all those m and flavors reviews? It took me forever to not eat them. I I actually gave them away like in little bags to, to like, other flight attendants and stuff like that. So to not let that happen again, I'm glad that I found this size here. So we've got this pumpkin pie flavor. Uh, I do like pumpkin pie. So let's see, inside it doesn't look like there's any like peanut or peanut butter or pretzels or anything like that. Let's take it or open it up. Let's open it up. Okay, from just opening the package, I'm not getting any smell at all, not one bit. So I'm, I'll give that a zero. But the colors that we've got here are like a very light peach, orange, and then dark brown. Looks like your standard M&M. Got the hard shell and all that. Appearance wise, it's they look like a fall colored M&Ms. So four. Let's go with the taste. I'm gonna I'm gonna take another one just because I want to make sure that what I'm gonna say makes sense. Honestly, it tastes like a big M&M with just a little bit of a pumpkin flavor. Not pumpkin spice, but a pumpkin pie flavor, which is exactly what they're calling it. It's a milk chocolate pumpkin pie. So yeah, hitting the right notes where they're supposed to be. So in regards to the actual flavor of this, let's give it a four out of five. Yeah, and that's, I mean, that's not being generous or anything like that. I mean, that's just how I feel, really. All right, so that being said, the next one we've got here is the Snickers Pecan. Caramel, nougat, milk chocolate, pecans, all that stuff. I haven't been reading the snack blogs lately, so this was totally not on my radar. The last time I had a Snickers was that butterscotch. I don't know if I, did I do a review on that one? I think I did. This comes in two pieces. So there's your normal milk chocolate covered nougat, right? Appearance wise, it's a four out of five. It is what it is. As far as smell, it smells like a Snickers. <laughs> All right, I'm actually just, let's just get a bite, okay? Here we go. At least that particular bite that I had, there was one little piece of pecan in there. And the rest of it just tastes like almost a Milky Way than a Snickers. But I mean, that's what Milky Way is. It's a Snickers without peanuts. Uh, so the pecan, you can see a little bit right there. Uh, it's, I guess it's doing its job, but still three out of five out of taste wise. Snickers is not something that I totally always go for as far as any kind of candy like that. <laughs> I usually do like a trail mix. Okay, now let's do the viral candy that everyone's been talking about on YouTube and TikTok and all that. The Nerds Gummy Clusters. It's the spooky flavor. Spooky flavor, all right? I don't know why they're clamoring for this because this is not something new. Well, as far as clusters go, okay. The smell wise, it smells like the gummy, gummy clusters from Nerds, from Willy Wonka, isn't it? I think it's Willy Wonka. And there's your pieces. You've got orange, white, and purple. What's the white supposed to be? What kind of flavor is white? Oh, sometimes they have on the back, like what the flavor is supposed to be. Like purple would be gray, orange would be 
orange and blue would be tastes like blue I thought maybe the white will maybe the white's like a mystery flavor they usually do that appearance wise it looks like the gummy clusters that you would buy except just in ghost colors all right let's take a taste here we go the gummy or the jelly that they're using is a little bit different than what I remember as far as the other gummy clusters go. It just tastes like grape, orange, and white. I don't see what's so special about it, but apparently it's all the rage. So it's it's out for the holidays or for the Halloween season, I should say. And uh, as far as taste, I mean, it, it, it still gets a 4.5 out of 5 because it tastes like what it's supposed to be. It's a gummy cluster from Nerd. But I don't see why this is that much more special or different than the other two that are out there. So anyway, I think that's gonna wrap it up. I had a lot of fun shopping around and looking at all these all these products and saying, oh my God, I wanna try that, you know? So I amassed these products up for about three weeks. I hope you enjoyed this uh, mini review of taste test of all the items that, we, that I purchased. And uh, I think this is gonna conclude this video. If you like it, go ahead and click that like button. Click subscribe, click on the notification bell, let you know I came out with another video for y'all. See you guys next time, peace.